Welcome everybody, I'm Alfidia Arara and thank you for, for joining me tonight for Facebook Live or maybe you're watching on YouTube on my channel Alfidia Arara so thank you for subscribing to that and if you're not subscribing please do subscribe we've got lots of exciting video content planned for this summer so I'll just wait to see if MJ is going to come on tonight and uh, do the live meditations with me and get more information on the energy place that we are at at this moment. So we have just come out of the powerful portal of the new moon solar eclipse, which was on Sunday. And we're still integrating this opportunity to activate the true divine masculine template within us. The sun represents the male energy and of course we did the resurrection workshop which was really about the anchoring of the the divine masculine template within so if you missed that workshop it was really beautiful and powerful it was on sunday it was a 45 pound workshop plus the vat if you're in the eu and oringus led us on a beautiful gong bath as well so we're in this period where we are in the middle of these three eclipses and it's a very potent time for us all and it was also enhanced by the solstice moment as well. So we are still in this new moon energy but we are also building up to next week believe it or not we have got the full moon lunar eclipse as well. So I will be releasing information on the Galactic Master Workshop that we're doing for this. But what I'm doing this weekend, before I have a summer holiday, because July I'm going to take some time off, it'll be school holidays and uh, I've got lots of exciting things planned, which behind the scenes for elemental beings as well. So yeah, there won't be so many courses happening or so I don't think in July. You never know, they always ask me to, to bring forward lots of courses. But this weekend, we're focusing on some beautiful healing from the dragon and the unicorn kingdom. So we don't think of those two energies as highly compatible. The dragons are all about power, they're all about transforming, transmuting. And the unicorns we think of as blissful, loving beings of divine love, quite a soft energy. But the two of them together, I work with all the time. Every night before bed, I am invoking the unicorns and the dragons to come and connect me, to protect my property, to protect my family, and to give us healing during the night as well. And I'm super excited that the rainbow dragons and the rainbow unicorns are coming forward for a beautiful two hour soul healing workshop to help our souls really integrate this intense period of shifts on earth. So the eclipses are like reset catalytic points and my guide said that we require some soothing, we require some balancing and we require the rainbow frequencies of the higher fifth dimensional light to reset us all to prepare us in essence as well for the final eclipse in this trinity of eclipses. So I really hope that you can join me live on Zoom. It's two o'clock till four o'clock on Saturday afternoon, British summer time. Of course, mainland Europe's an hour ahead. America, you're behind. Australia, it'll be maybe night time for you. But I really hope that you can join me and I'll be able to work with you in this workshop. It's just a two hour course. So I'll be able to do more uh, feedback on the live group chat. And if people have got questions or things they want helped with from the workshop um, topic that's coming up, then I'll be able to do that interaction with you. But let's just talk about how you're all feeling. So type in, let us know how the the eclipse and the solstice was for you and how you're feeling now after it. So the energies were really, really intense and they're sort of tailoring off a bit. We've got a bit of a heat wave here in the, the UK. I'm sat here in shorts, which is unheard of in Scotland, really, but it's been 30 degrees here today and yesterday. So it's been really, really hot. All that solar light is, is flooding in. And if your energy field is struggling to integrate it, 
then this is what the unicorns and the dragons are coming forward to just make all this integration of all this high vibration light that is flooding the planet now after the solstice to make it all easier for you. And any time this workshop will be good, but any time the energies of the earth are intense, you can just listen to it again, do the meditations, and it'll just cleanse, balance, and soothe you. So what I'm going to do today is take you on a meditation to connect with the, the rainbow ascension dragons. The information for them is on the Dragon Wisdom School website. I have listed so many dragons on that website with indications you can see to help you with any period or anything you're going through your life. So if you're not already a member of the Dragon Wisdom School, hop onto the website dragonwisdomschool.org, join to be a member, it's free, it just means you'll get information, newsletters and notifications, but you also get an ebook which will help you with a quiz which will help you figure out what we is your strongest sixth sense to communicate with the dragons as well. So I thought we could work tonight with the rainbow ascension dragons, sort of in preparation to, if you've never worked with their energy before, to help you feel it. And then the rainbow unicorns, they're carrying the same vibration, but from the unicorn realm. So these rainbow ascension dragons, they have been given the divine blueprint of mother earth from source to support her on the next stage of evolution for souls on earth. So they've got your blueprint, they've got the earth's blueprint, they're gonna mesh them together so that you can integrate through this intense period. So it's all about integrating the energies at this time. Sometimes when we're in these intense periods of integration, you can feel like, I don't wanna do any work, I don't wanna meditate, I feel I've done too much, I'm blasted. But the reason you're feeling blasted is because your energy is struggling to integrate the high frequency light. So these dragons are, and the unicorns are all about integrating you and supporting you through this merging of your divine blueprint, reconnecting to that, and Mother Earth's divine blueprint. So otherwise this is sometimes known as integrating with the earth grids. So if you're a bit misaligned with the earth grids, the dragons are excellent to help you with your realignment and the unicorns to flood you with the beautiful divine love energy. Now these are multicolored dragons and rainbow unicorns are too, which connect to all the color rays on earth. And as you connect with them, you automatically rise in your frequency. They are great for connecting with you to clear your emotional body and to support you with your earth healing work. They work on downloading the new earth codes into the ley lines and are of fifth dimensional consciousness. They will show you where you're required to work in your energy field to support your own ascension fully and into the fifth dimensional state of being. They're good to work with when you feel stuck, isolated, lost or confused on your spiritual journey. And they're also great to work with when you'd like inspiration and wisdom on the next stage of your soul's ascension path. And again, that brings in that apathetic energy that can kind of hit in after the solstice, where um, it can just be like oh, such an intense energy period that you can just feel a bit disorientated. You may still feel blissed out, but you can just feel that a bit of support with integration would be good for us all. Their energy is very uplifting to connect with, very soothing as well, and they are also in multidimensional vibration. So maybe you're trying to integrate eighth, eighth dimensional frequencies, 10th dimensional frequencies, sixth dimensional frequencies, whatever your soul is up to, and you don't really know about what it's up to, we don't always know, do we? then they are excellent dragons to, to call upon. So I thought that what we would do before we do our beautiful dragon skull healing this evening is we can do an invocation to connect with these rainbow dragons and then I'll lead you on a little guided meditation. Now, on the course on Saturday, what we're going to be doing with this deep soul healing is offering, um, they're going to offer us support to look at releasing and working with you energetically and the beautiful soul of light you are to heal any issues that are presenting for you at this time. 
I am going to channel them live as I always do. So we'll do unicorn channeling, we will do the dragon channeling, and then you are going to go on beautiful attunements and meditations. I'm going to work with you to help you illuminate you for the areas of your life that you're struggling a bit consciously and unconsciously, and everything's getting thrown at you thick and fast at this time. So today I had an experience where I met somebody I've not seen them for a long time. It wasn't an intentional meeting. Um, we were just out walking. Scotland's got a bit more freedom and they were out walking. And I just had a reaction to meeting this person. And then I got told I had eight timelines with her. I've known her for years and I've never thought, she's not a very close friend, but she's somebody that, you know, I've, I've had a lot to do with through the mum side of things. And I've got eight timelines to clear with her. So, okay, I'm onto that. Lunarity is running on that just now for me. So there's things that are going to be coming up thick and fast for us. And it's really about nipping things in the bud at the moment. Everything is coming up really quickly. So it's really, I would describe this time as spiritual vigilance. Okay, so you're looking for every little sign or clue that's guidance that your guides are giving you at this time. Do you keep hearing the same song on the radio or does the same tune keep playing through your head? Really listen to the words. Are you guided to read a book or has a book fallen off a bookshelf and you open it at the page or a, an oracle card jumps out and it's got a key message? Is your partner triggering you or a friend or a family member? You know, what are they showing you about yourself? What you don't like in them, there's a vibration within you that has to go and be, you know, cleared. And yes, sometimes you're mirroring for the other person and it is their stuff, but... There's always lessons there. Why have you chosen to be the mirror in this case rather than your child or the dog? Or is there something there with you that is coming up? So, for example, today I was having a go at Aragus because it was really hot and he wasn't putting any sun cream on. And then he was just like, that's my choice. It's my choice to do this. And I'm like, that's fine. It is your choice. But I've got all this lovely aloe vera. It's all natural. There's nothing that's going to harm you by just putting the sun cream on. And then, I haven't even told Aragus this, so he sat in front of me. He doesn't even know this. He's just got a wry smile on his face and he just moves his glasses down and looks at me like this. But then I realised that what I was reacting to is his stubbornness. Aragus has this vibration of stubbornness in him. And, he, you know, he's been working on it. It's shifting away. But I have an issue with stubbornness. It's a trigger for me. And I looked at why is it a trigger? Well, it's a trigger for me because my grandfather was very stubborn and he was always a wonderful grandfather to us grandchildren, beautiful grandfather to us. But when I was ill and I was back home and I was around a lot and, and my mum got cancer and obviously he was worried about her having cancer, but he, he was in his 90s, so he couldn't cope. And, you know, he was a very stubborn man. And so it was a trigger because the way my grandfather was towards my mum, towards the end of her life, was very painful for her. And the way she internalised it and reacted to it. And so I associate stubbornness with all this unpleasantness to do with that time. And so I realised that I've still got healing to do with that relationship between my grandfather and my mother. And what I witnessed and observed and didn't get involved with because I, I sort of stayed out of it because I wasn't well enough to be involved with it. And so, yeah, it's just, it is literally finding the pieces of the jigsaw and the puzzle and just boom, 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 tracing it back, you know, try to figure it all out because everything's getting shown to us, mirrored to us thick and fast in this really intense eclipse period. And you want to utilize and harness the energies to shift as much as possible you know, in this intense period of time with the three eclipses. And that's what the dragons are going to come forward to do. They're going to um, use their rainbow light frequency to transform and transmute any density and stuckness within our chakras, within your meridians and your auric field. And then the rainbow unicorns are going to come in with their unconditional rainbow love frequency to help us in loving ourselves unconditionally and helping us with unworthiness. A lot of us struggle with self-unworthiness. A lot of us struggle with unconditional love. And also in conditional divine grace. I don't talk so much about divine grace. It's the next key of ascension that we're going to work with. So I've been doing this series of keys of ascension 
with uh, Lady Sarah, the daughter of Mary Magdalene and Lord Sananda. Some of you know him as Jesus. And so we, we, we've had the, self, the forgiveness key. We have had the inner peace key. We have had the gratitude key. And then we're moving into divine grace. Now, when we sit in our divine grace, I always think of Kuan Yin. She's an embodiment of divine grace. So compassion comes into divine grace. Unconditional love comes in. When you're at that point of divine grace, you've got rid of your triggers. You're able to sit there, I suppose in the Buddhist state, in the state of Buddha. But divine grace is, is more than that. It is a vibration of purity, unconditional purity, and it is a vibration of the true honouring of your beautiful soul, the beautiful essence of who you are, not your personas, that's what they were getting rid of, the deities in our earth healing retreat, was getting rid of all our personas and our personalities, getting rid of all these identities that we take on and live through. Because that's not really us. When you're in divine grace, you are in that state of your own inner purity. And it's totally unadulterated divine form. And that is what we are all working towards. And this is what this energy of this eclipse period is, is catapulting us towards as well. But now is the time to do this work. Okay. So the... Rainbow unicorns are going to bring forward transformative healing experience to support you feeling nurtured, feeling safe and deeply honoured and loved by the divine, which will then reflect out in your daily intentions going forward. So I'll be doing the live, we'll do an attunement to the unicorns and the rainbow dragons. You'll um, do your manifestation exercise, you'll do a beautiful guided meditation and then you're going to receive a beautiful crystal skull healing from my six inch clear quartz dragon skull himalayan dragon skull that has lots of rainbow light within it so it's going to be a beautiful really nurturing healing two hours it's a gift to yourself really at this time so you know this is up on on the website now either the dragonwisdomschool.org or my elemental beings one if you want to join us book your place to do it live with me or the distance option, of course, as well, when your energy is called into the sacred space. So the exchange for that is um, £30 on Saturday, plus the VAT. But what I'm going to do now for you is to take you on this beautiful connection with these rainbow dragons. So when you are ready, and this invocation is on the website, so if you want to um print it out put it on your dragon altar it's up on the website that you can see it but i'll take you on a meditation and then we'll do the invocation okay so we're just going to close our eyes now taking a deep breath we call upon our guides to come around us and to put protection spiritually and physically around us during our meditation time we call now upon the presence of the rainbow dragons to make their connection with us through our auric field of light. Starting to see, feel and sense beautiful rainbow light flooding through your auric field now. Allowing this rainbow light to come down from the top of your head down your crown chakra opening up all your chakras, right down into the base chakra. Perhaps you're able to sense any chakra that is a bit stuck. Energetically, as the rainbow dragons start to work on this now. Dear rainbow dragons of ascension, please aid me now in my earth healing work. Please support me and show me clearly how to be of service for Mother Earth and all of humanity. Please guide me to move fully into my fifth dimensional self and let go of any lower stuck ego emotions that hold me back at this time. Please show me belief patterns that I require to let go of and also aid me in being in my true soul power at all times. In gratitude, 
Namaste Adonai. And now you've invoked the presence of the rainbow dragons. Feel the rainbow healing light working on your energy field. See all of your energy field engulfed in this healing light. Taking your awareness down to your feet chakras. See, feel, sense, notice. Two beautiful golden roots of light starting to burrow down now. Down, 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 down. Down deep into the centre of Mother Earth. As you connect now with Mother Earth's pink beating heart, Feel her love being funneled up to you into your heart centre. Asking the rainbow dragons to give you any guidance they have at this time to support you in connecting more deeply with them and any guidance for your healing at this time. As I share with you their message for us. Greetings, greetings, greetings. We are honoured indeed to come forward in this collaboration of our energy to take you to this place of deep soul ascension healing. We will work on recalibrating your energy field to the new ascension light frequencies that have been released in the two eclipses this month already. I'm preparing you for the final one in this trinity next month. We will work with our beautiful rainbow light codes to not only upgrade your holographic frequency, but to support you on your own inner soul healing journey. For you are all unique. And the path that you are on is unique also. You have the opportunity to put in your soul healing requests. You will have the opportunity to receive guidance and information as well as meeting a personal rainbow dragon and rainbow unicorn guide who will support you through your ascension journey on earth. The energies have been very intense and this is an opportunity for you to be blissed out by the high frequency fifth dimensional light that we come forward to connect you with. This will be a soothing, nurturing experience and aid you in having clearer direction, understanding and confidence on your path on earth. You are being asked now to love yourself unconditionally, to open your hearts more fully to the one heart of Mother Earth, Mother Gaia, and to then send that love out into the world at large. We look forward to this beautiful experience. It is a joy and it is an honour for us to work with you this way. Namaste. As you just allow your breath to rhythmically breathe in the rainbow light, to breathe out the rainbow light. Feel yourself becoming a rainbow of wisdom. As the rainbow unicorns come around now. They make a connection with you through the third eye chakra. They place their horn upon your third eye, the centre of your forehead. And they give you a message now. Receive this message. Acknowledge this message. And now they present you with a gift of wisdom. Receive your gift of wisdom now.
And now, when you are ready, we ask the unicorns and the dragons to cloak you with their rainbow light of protection. Holding gratitude in your heart, you open your eyes and allow yourself to come back round into your sacred space. Okay. So, oh, we've got some flies and bumblebees buzzing around in here now. Oh, that was a very blissful experience. Unfortunately, I'm too far away to see your comments, so I will read them after the after this live. But I really hope that you are able to join me on Saturday. We don't have many people doing it live. I think there's only 10. So if there's only 10 of us, I'll really be able to work with you personally. Um, if a few more of you come on, be able to do more personal interaction. If you want to have that experience as if you're more in a live with me, then we can try and uh, factor that in. But what I want to do is just ground you tonight because grounding is really important. This morning I was guided to do the Syrian pineal gland attunement again. And I've listened to it a couple of times, but I've always been out of it during the part when they were saying that most of us humans don't get enough oxygen into our lungs. Now they were saying this in April when the pandemic was at its peak and this virus that's been going around has been stopping people getting enough oxygen into their bodies. But they said that most of the lack of oxygen was birth trauma. And if you were starved of oxygen at birth, I was. I know that I was too big for my mother. I was in the canal too long and um, done a lot of work on that. But I was asthmatic when I was younger. And anybody that's got any lung issues conventionally, then, or anybody who finds it really difficult to ground and be in body, then it was likely you had oxygen deprivation at some point in your early childhood and usually at the birth point. So, you know, it's really important that we do breath work through this period. I'm doing daily Tai Chi first thing in the morning with Michael Tingle, somebody I've known for over 12 years. So um, some of you have been joining me. I, I shared one of the watch parties this week and some of you joined me with it. But I've been really finding just doing that kind of breath. I've been doing Kundalini Yoga through the through the whole lockdown period and my friend Kuali Kamara is doing a full day kundalini for only 30 pound donation or if you can't afford that whatever you can give it's for her snake sanctuary but also her birthday celebration on the 4th of July so there's other teachers as well so a lot of breath work a lot of sound healing a lot of yoga so I'll post up about that in my group so if any of you fancy doing part of it or all of it then you know it's really important we do this work and I wanted to work with the black obsidian dragon with you tonight I've just put these up on the shop I've got three five inch ones that have just come in a six inch one has just arrived as well I've not unpacked it and I've got um, some of the others have sold so four inch and three inch ones if they're not up will be going up soon but um, be quick because it's hard for me to get these and these are the master dragons so you know, they are really powerful dragons to help us. Now, black, of course, is a combination of all the colours. So it's actually a rainbow colour black because it has all the colour rays within it. So that's why I thought we would work with this beautiful black obsidian grounding dragon tonight. So this one's DR72. It's up on the shop. It's a £300 dragon, 360 if you're in the EU because we have the bat. But... Lots of you have been asking me if I'd be getting any more in, and they have arrived. It has have five other boxes of, of crystals, but I've just managed this week to process so many. So there's lots of new dragons. There's Kumbaba Jasper, it's amazing. There's Mahogany Obsidian, it's amazing too. And there is Green Moss Agate, which I know a lot of you have been waiting for them for a while as well. So they have all arrived, and um, but other ones are in the boxes to unpack too. So do go on to the Dragon Wisdom School and check them out. New Crystal Skulls have arrived as well. And there's two of the small Rose Quartz Dragons left, which are the £20 one-inch ones. They are machine card, they're not hand card like these, that's why they're so much cheaper. But um, they are beautiful little dragons, so I've got two of them left. Um, be quick if you want them, because I had um, 16 
a couple of days ago and I'm down to two. So what we're going to do is we're going to tune into this beautiful master dragon skull, ask it to speak to us, ask it to do a healing on us. If you've not done one of my dragon healings before, then skull healings before, then just follow my guidance. But you want to maybe tap your third eye, you're going to connect in with the dragon's horn on its third eye. And we're just going to close our eyes and connect with this beautiful dragon as I connect into all of you watching live and all of you watching at a later date, as time is just an illusion. Greetings, greetings, greetings. My name is Arkara. I am indeed a master dragon skull. I am here to not only assist with protection, but also to assist with mass awakening. I am here to help you awaken to all of your soul's potential. But I am here to do this through anchoring you into your physical body template. So I am now going to run a short transmission to show you the potentiality of working with a skull such as myself and how it can assist you on your life's progression as a soul on earth. I begin my transmission now. It's just taking your awareness to your breath. Feeling a beautiful dragon connecting in with you. And now, allow it to do its work.
Dragon's finishing off its work with you. So just allowing yourself slowly and gently come back round, anchoring and grounding back into body and opening your eyes now. So it was all throat chakra for me this dragon was working on. It was really clearing out throat chakra. I also downloaded a new workshop form. Oh, which is a workshop that I know has been coming for a while and I just couldn't get the name of it. I just can't, how do I advertise this? What is this going to be? And it gave me the name of the workshop. So thank you for that. It's not even a dragon workshop. It's a Pleiadian one with the centaurs. So um, that was interesting. And then a baby. I assume it was a baby. Or maybe it was a daddy. How smart and flew into the window. I'm thinking of getting those things you hang on your window that stops the birds flying into them. We've got lots of house martins which nest in the walls. They build mud nests on the walls. And um, it's the third time I've heard a bird bang into the window, which is why I think the babies are maybe out. Um, so if anybody knows what they're called, those they're just like dangly things that you have hanging on the window and it catches the light and it makes them realise that it's not clear glass. But, oh, well, that was lovely. I loved connecting in with the, with the rainbow dragons and unicorns. I'm super excited about this course on Saturday because I've worked with these beings before and they are absolutely stunning to work with. So I hope that you can you can join me for this soothing workshop to just get us all rebalanced and prepared and ready after the energy changes. All of those who took part in the solstice eclipse, I am going to get your crystals. We're going to start getting the crystals ready to be shipped out. You'll have seen the video of Bob blessing them all. So he's managed to pull a few more out of the bags. In fact, he's uh, a pulled a lot of them out of the bags. And um, so I just was really too busy today to face tidying them all up. But um, so you'll get your lovely crystal, Scottish Serpentine crystal in the post. They are amazing spheres. I'll show you one of them. Um, I never had such beautiful crystal ball serpentines. I just knew I had to offer these as, as the, the gifts for the uh, retreat. And the personal messages will be started to get done. I just had to get my backlog out from the past. So I'll just see if anybody has got any comments or questions. That I need to know about is it just, go, just rock, rock they're running through, through too fast for a ringus. But if anybody is looking for any crystals, the majority of my crystal skulls these days don't ever get shown on Facebook or on the shop or they're shown after they're sold. So if there's something in particular you are looking for, then do get in touch uh, because I do send them out um, to the preview list. Also, if you're wanting anything carved, um, in particular, my geologist is sorting out doing carvings just now because the um, carvers have started to work again. So I can get your bespoke carvings done again for you if you're particularly looking for a type of dragon, crystal skull or unicorns. New unicorns have come in. I've got lapis unicorns coming in, clear quartz, stunning jasper mukite ones as well. So. Whole, I'll have them unpacked by the workshop on Saturday so that we can have them all out in the, the altar. I've only got one day to go. I've got a lot to get through before this workshop on Saturday. It's because normally I don't I don't process the crystals. I have staff that come in and process the crystals and I'm having to do all the weighing, measuring, labeling, everything uh, myself. Just now I do always ask the energy exchange. So that's always my job to see the energy exchange because I always connect with the being to ask them their energy exchanges and um, to do that work but yes hopefully you've all had a good solstice period hopefully the weather is good where you are at and if there's any courses you would like to have run or you'd be interested in it's the end of our business year the end of july so i always start um, looking in july for future courses unfortunately our um, retreat which was meant to be in may and then it got moved to october has had to be moved again because of the social distancing rules and also at the moment Americans can't fly in uh, to the EU. So with everything being up in the air we're now going for the Beltane weekend next year. So that'll be amazing to be in Glastonbury at Beltane. It's the best time to be in Glastonbury is actually Beltane. 
Um, so hopefully we'll have a wonderful experience that time and we will do the work as a sort of distance retreat that we need to do in this year because the solstice retreat was so popular everybody has loved that um, doing a retreat that way so we've just got to figure out the logistics of that because the earth healing work does have to be done and then I'll channel um, what we would be doing next May in Glastonbury it'll be the same theme it'll be heart it's the heart of the world Glastonbury so it'll just be further upgraded work and I'll bring through new channelings from Mary for every I think there was 30 of us booked for that retreat. So yeah, the world's just in flux. We are going to do an Earth Healing SOS soon. Arrhenius is going to organise it just to do, just get this virus off the planet. Um, I have been told information which I'll share through the Earth Healing SOS. So make sure you're on my newsletter, elementalbeings.co.uk. You can send an email through if you want to go on the special SOS group. If you missed my previous Earth Healing SOSs through this whole COVID-19 situation, the meditations are wonderful and for protecting ourselves and for doing the work for the land. So, you know, that's all up on YouTube on my Elfidia Arara channel. So do subscribe to my YouTube channel as well and you'll be notified when new videos go up. So yeah, just sending you lots of love. It's a beautiful evening. I might go outside, communicate with the fairies. Created my, rain, my Ruby Ray temple last night in the garden. So... That was lovely. All of you in the group are doing the Ruby Ree Temples. If you miss the retreat, it's available still to book. For two weeks, you would still get a crystal and a personal message if you book within two weeks. So that's £150, that retreat experience. And yeah, just sending you all lots and lots of love. Namaste.